Hello everyone and welcome to this inaugural video for this channel. I don't know how long I will be able to maintain this but here we go and for the first video I am going to cover Transformers Combiner Wars or Generations Combiner Wars Deluxe Hot Rod, a, a figure that a whole bunch of us have been uh, waiting for a long time for because you know we had this fig figure this is uh, classics 2006 hot rodimus or rodimus um, and you know it's held up over the time it's been remolded heaps and heaps but uh, it, it's it's showing its age so we have been waiting for an update forever uh, and here's the side-by-side -side shot you know you can see the the 2006 figure um, vehicle mode is slightly longer slightly narrower roughly the same height uh, I'll, I'll get rid of that derpy looking gun position there um, and, and and somewhat darker color in the classic small now you can get lots of different variations you know you can probably get one that's exactly the same color as that I'm not really sure but there's lots of variations of this um, and you know you can see it's very much a hot rod um, slightly different uh, both of them from the original shape of the cartoon model of hot rod um, you know they both have different uh, uh, parts that are a little bit more accurate I think the side here is a little bit more accurate I think the windows uh, probably harken a little bit better here although the shape of that window does reflect the cartoon model um, overall I think this car has a more real world feel to it it's more aerodynamic it's got more uh, realistic door positions whereas this one probably has a slightly more Cybertronian feel to it so that that's that's the vehicle modes there um, so you know I think overall a nice sleek sports car design with a with a modern twist to it you know with those uh, curves uh, the muscle looking uh, shape to it I don't mind it I, I think I think I appreciate an update to to hot rod it's been forever okay so to transform this guy oh um, this this figure is a is a headmaster you know and and that's that's a bit of a detractment of course the original hot rod which came uh, with a figure was a uh, target master uh, and his target master was firebolt uh, they have named this target master uh, fire drive um, and you know this I guess not much to talk about it's it's a basic looking figure not much paint application on the front there it's really quite boring uh, they've really concentrated uh, most of the effort on the face there which is fair enough um, okay uh, and, and and of course uh, you know you saw them in the, in this slid position you can um, as with all the target master figures position him inside the vehicle as a driver so to transform him first you just fold this guy up and that's the head right obviously uh, break the guns apart and then the vehicle you want to separate that bit and then you can pretty much split the hands apart like that and then go ahead and lift that uh, wing part up turn it around that's a, quite a quite a fun little transformation I think you know it's uh, reasonably involved not too basic uh, so fold that up to the backpack straighten out the legs twist it around at the waist joint and, and you know because of the transformation you get a nice waist joint which I always appreciate waist joints I always like to have waist joints on my transformers okay so straighten out the legs and that's pretty much the leg position the hands are nearly done just open up the, the arms are nearly done I should say open up the hands and then bend them at the elbows okay and then for the hood there's this piece that folds in and then comes down to become the chest and that's pretty much pretty much it um, you know not not uh, too complicated not too basic either you know I think it's it's a nice balance actually um, and then you grab the head now there's there's been a little bit of uh, controversy over this so if you look at the shape of that that's obviously to insert uh, that that target master head uh, with their face 
facing backwards. Um, so if, you know, main pretty much you have to. Oh no, actually that position is correct. Uh, so face, so face facing forward. I, I I make that mistake. All right, so that that sits like that. If you try to try to do it with the face facing back, it, it's very tight and it's probably not designed to be that way. Um, that position there is a little bit on the loose side. Um, I find that if sometimes with these target masters, if you turn it so that the the head is facing sideways, you you, you sometimes get a better purchase with uh, you know with just a little bit better locking. Um, so anyway, that's that's pretty much the figure done. Um, I'll uh, put the gun positions on. It's a little bit tight, but anyway, that's that. This one's a little bit okay, loose. Okay, and there we have it. Him, hot rod, holding his guns in the typical A stance. Um, all right, so I'll just uh, grab uh, the classics figure and uh, transform him off site, and we'll do a side by side comparison here. Okay, and here we have it uh, transformed. And look at that, what, what a difference uh, 10 years in toy development and design makes, right? I mean, uh, I must say the colors on this figure look, still looks very sharp. I really like it for the colors, but look at the design. I mean, from a car that is, has, was roughly the same size, you get, uh, you know, a much more robot, even though I think this figure weighs slightly lighter because of the the plastic changes. Um, this figure just doesn't quite, you know, explode out into the robot that the, the modern figures does. But, you know, keep in mind, it is 10 years, unbelievable 10 years uh, difference between these two figures. Um, all right, design, robot design wise, I think there's, there's no question uh, that that just, you know, walks all over that in terms of a uh, proportion style. Uh, you know, I think there's, there's a lot to be said about the Classics figure. It's much beloved. I think it's got some good silhouettes to it, but I think overall, the silhouette of this uh, robot, uh, the backpack, um, you know, that, that you know, it's, it's a lot more compact. You know, it's not, not super compact, but you know, that one is a little bit more clumsy, the implementation. It's just, you know, it's just a really uh, I really appreciate this upgrade to the character. Uh, the guns, you know, much more like, uh, uh, I guess, uh, Rodimus Prime's guns with, with that fins at the side, hearkening back to the Rodimus design. This gun, I don't know what that is. I mean, uh, it, it really is part of the vehicle. You know, you, you, you stick the flame there to, to get the flame exhaust. That This doesn't look like anybody's gun, I think. So, you know. Uh, that's the side by side there, you know, a much, much uh, awaited uh, upgrade to one of the unquestionably, you know, class uh, or, or top tier, you know, A tier uh, transformer, right? Hot Rod, Rodimus Prime, uh, you know, the one of your your frontliners is no no, <laughs> no question about that. Okay, so in terms of this this figure. Um, obviously you have the head articulation with slight, some slight tilting which you know really helps uh, get character poses uh, shoulders uh, bend at that inner joint there and then has a ball joint at, at the shoulder itself uh, there's a there's a uh, I guess a mushroom pig there and and the arm uh, elbow joint along with a slight twist there with, you know, on the hand for the for the transformation really uh, waist articulation that you saw before and then you get ball joint at the hip along with uh, rotation at the top of the thigh uh, elbow uh, so knee uh, knee joint and then not really an ankle I guess you can count that as an ankle uh, front and back there but you get a fixed uh, tilt for the standard type of a stance okay so there we go um, what what I like about this figure, I think the robot mode is, is fantastic looking. I, I really like this. I think the car mode is fun, but it's not quite real world. But, you know, I, I accept it uh, and, and I I'm totally uh, will use this as an upgrade to uh, the Rodimus figure. What's not so good? Uh, I think the shoulder joints, whilst they are good, I think the, 
the, these joints aren't fantastic. Of course, you can tighten them. I'm of the school of thought that I shouldn't need to tighten toys, but you know, people do floor polish, etc., to tighten the, the hip joints at the moment. You know, shake it around, those hips are all over the place. You know, they don't, you know, they don't really hold very firmly, but you know, you can get your basic stances out of him. There we have it. That is uh, Transformers Generations Combiner Wars uh, Hot Rod with, uh, with with his Headmaster partner called Fire Drive, which I don't really care much for. I, I like how they've uh, uh, done uh, the, the head well. You know, they focus all the colors on that head with that nice blue eyes there. And I appreciate that. I won't uh, really uh, be playing around and, and calling uh, the Headmaster by name. So there we have it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see how much more this I do. And uh, I will catch you guys next time.